back in 2012, Dusty Ardwa, along with his dad and his brother, came from Arkansas to Las Vegas to bring their love of barbecue and southern cuisine to the people here in good old Southwest Desert. Ten years later, they've got a few locations, including one inside of Legion Stadium, so you can grub on some delicious barbecue while you watch the Raiders play. Although this year, you'd probably just rather have the barbecue. I'm doing the all you can eat, everybody. I'm gonna try some of everything. I can't wait for this to start coming out. They've got a plethora of house-made sauces. And again, this is Southern style barbecue from Arkansas. A little bit different from Texas barbecue. A little bit different from Carolina barbecue. Can't wait to try. First up, everybody, I'm trying their catfish. I'm trying their chicken. And I'm trying that hot link. Oh, the chicken's delicious. Seasoned just right, not too salty. Mmm. That skin is perfectly bite through. Right hidden smoke. Chicken definitely gets a thumbs up. Let's try this hot link. I love a good hot link. Nice hot link there, everybody. Kind of a finer grind on the hot leg. Real tasty. Nice flaky fried catfish with homemade tartar sauce. Look at that. Oh, the catfish is great. Oh, yeah. Nice and crunchy. Batter seasoned just right. Mm. Moist and flaky. And it's got the perfect amount of cornmeal, so it's not too mealy. And then again, you definitely know it's in there. It really is a great bite of food. Great job on the catfish. I gotta say, rolling smoke. Let's try some of these beans here. You know I love some good beans. All right, these beans have a little bit of attitude. A nice healthy dose of black pepper in there. Got a great amount of meat too. Mm. Bacon. You gotta excuse the noise, everybody. I'm right out next to the parking lot. For a popular spot like Rolling Smoke, the dining room's even more lively. Here we go, everybody, round two. I went pork on this round. Did the pulled pork, did the St. Louis ribs, did the baby back ribs. We went for their mac and cheese and then the Chipotle coleslaw. So let's take a look at this pulled pork, everybody. It's moist. Ooh, look, it's nice and smoky, too. This is Mama's sweet sauce. It's definitely nice and sweet. Mm. It's really tasty on that pork. Sweet country girl. Guessing this would be a mustard based sauce. It's a dang fine mustard based sauce right there. Let's just try their normal spicy. Spicy sauce is good too. I think out of the sauces I've tried so far, that damn hot though is my favorite. That's definitely a little aggressive. It was right up my alley. Just get a piece of some of that bark in there. Look at that, everybody. Just glistening. Mmm. 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 That's a delicious bite of barbecue right there. You gotta come down here to roll and smoke. Go ahead and splurge and bite the bullet and get that all you need. You gotta try some of all this. Let's see what this Chipotle slaw is all about. I love slaw and I love Chipotle. The one thing I can already tell you is this isn't too soggy. You know, sometimes you go get a cold slaw and it's, it's cut too thin and it's way too soggy. That isn't the case with this one. Mm. Wow, that's really bright flavor. Really surprised for a Chipotle slaw. The textures are great. There's a little corn in there, which really lends to the texture. Gives a little bit of a sweetness as well. And then Chipotle just comes up like a little thief in the night towards the end there. Moving to the ribs, everybody. First up, baby bags. <laughs> Good. Nice meaty baby bag rib there. What do you think, everybody? Give it a taste. Mm. 
that glaze side gets a nice candy layer. It's not too aggressively trimmed. That fat just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Oh. I don't believe it, but it's smoky. I don't know if you see that, that smoke ring from where you're sitting, everybody, but they definitely picked up some smoke. This is really delicious. Oh, man. I didn't put any sauce on these. Might have to remedy that right now. Sauce. Delicious. Oh yeah, that's how baby bag's supposed to be. Let's try these St. Louis now, everybody. Ooh, look at those St. Louis ribs. Just a Let's give it a taste. Man, the texture of this rib is top notch. It's moist, but not too moist. Tender, but still got some chew to it. Mm. Thumbs up. Oh, look at that. Coming clean right off of the bone. Yeah. This is one of the better St. Louis I think I've tried. Mm. The moisture and the texture is superior. Top notch. Top notch. Let's go ahead and try this mac and cheese. So it's got some cheese sauce as well as some uh, grated cheese. And I always say I would like the noodles to be a little al dente, and I got my wish on this one. Here's a cup of toppy noodle. It looks like these are bronze cut and pasta noodles. Cheese sauce is delicious. Thumbs up on the mac and cheese. Man, fair enough. I still gotta try that brisket. Beef rib. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to suck it up and drive on. Okay, everybody. So, in this final round before dessert, we've got the beef rib, the brisket, a little bit of burnt ends. I think I'm gonna be overdoing it here, everybody, but let's go on ahead and give it a shot. Nice beefy course of goodness here. I don't know where to start. Got some thin sliced brisket here. Tell that pulls apart. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. You can see that smoke ring right there on the brisket. Pretty heavy. Mm. It's nice and tender. And the bark is perfect. Good brisket. And they slice it nice and thin. This would be awesome on a sandwich, and they've got a million different kinds of barbecue sandwiches in there. Some really unique stuff, everybody. Again, you're gonna have to get in here and try some of this. Let's try this dirty rice. Mm. Dirty rice is really good. The grains aren't too sticky, and they're perfectly cooked. Just the right amount of meat in there, and a nice healthy dose of green onion, which I always like. Mm. Top notch on the, on the dirty rice. Oh yeah, let's try some of these yams. Ooh, it looks, look how silky and velvety that sauce looks. Oh man, look at that. Let's give these yams a try. Mm. Oh, the yams just melt right down. They're very sweet and rich. And the texture is beautiful. Nice velvety yams there. Here we got our potato salad with bacon and green onion. Nice mixture of mayo and, onion, and uh, mustard. You see there's a little red onion in here. On paper, it's gonna just be a pretty good potato salad. They get their bacon nice and crispy. It gets a lot of that extra fat out of there, makes it a lot less rich. It has texture and flavor. Really delicious.
Here we go. Beef rib. Oh, man. Look at this beef rib. I gotta tell you, everybody, I'm so full as it is, I am stuffed. That's a lot of beef rib. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it comes right off the bone. These ribs are the king of barbecue right here. And you can see how soft and tender that is. Man, this is gonna be some good eating. So smoky and sticky and moist. Mm. Oh. The beef ribs win. The beef ribs win. So good. You can look and see just how much smoke got into these. The whole thing is pink. This is basically like your beef short rib, and it's just marvelous. Mmm. That tears it, everybody. If you come to roll and smoke, or you don't do the all you can eat, you better get that beef rib. Barbecue fans, roll and smoke is definitely an original. If you're in Las Vegas or passing through, I sincerely recommend stopping through and getting some, especially some of this beef rib. And again, if you or anyone you know is contemplating to move to or from Las Vegas, I would love to be your realtor. Give me a call and I will show you how I can help you win in today's market. So call, text, or email, and we'll chat soon. But I'm trying to get up to 200 subscriptions as quick as possible, so please, if you would like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You don't want to miss anything spicy. Don't forget to share with your friends. Friends and ribs.